morning folks this is uh thursday so this i guess is day three of round two um still working on some of the same problems we took all the air lines off and a bunch of coolant lines and fuel hoses off yesterday um sage has run over to a hose manufacturer to get those made up for me we've got the rear brakes apart now and they look like they're in pretty good shape uh there's lots of fat on the brake blocks the drums look like they're in good shape we did find one broken spring actually, that's why that shoe is hanging down, I've got a spring, we're going to put that on. Um, we took all the brake cans apart, changed the diaphragms. So the front ones are in, the rear ones we still got to put back together. And what did we do back here yesterday? Oh yeah, we pulled some of those hoses off, um, you can't really see it other than the fact that there's some hoses that are missing. And we're going to do the governor drain mod like we did on Sage's bus like Scott recommended so basically you flip it over so it's pointing upward and then you put the drain the breather tube up and over um, a lot of oil flows through that governor and it just prevents prevents it from leaking out if you watch Sage's vi or bus grease monkey's video when we climbed the hill we dumped a bunch of oil because the hill was so steep it was just pouring out that governor port so we're going to do the same thing um, on the list today we've got a window to change uh, we got one more tire to take off here and inspect the brakes on that side. I imagine they'll probably be okay because the other ones have all been okay. Uh, we've got a window. We found it. We just got to get it screwed in today. Had to go to fasten all and get some screws. We were missing the proper screws. I think they were number eights. Um, Sage did that yesterday. Uh, we're going to finish up our work on this uh, hub today. Um, I've got the studs all out, the old ones. We've got the New studs, um, we had to switch the threads because they were opposite and we're going to have to get the back sides of the machine down because these stick out, protrude through the hub quite a bit further than the original silver size ones. So what will happen is if we don't cut them down, they're going to interfere with the brake shoes. And if you look, you can actually see where one of the silver side drums actually uh, hubs did touch at one point because there was probably a loose wheel bearing um, So we got to get that cut down for clearance and then I think we're gonna be good to go with this MCI 7 tag axle hub, so That's it for today folks So one of the little problems we had taking the wheels off the back of the bus was Rather than this nut coming off the whole stud unthreaded so we ended up with this stuck together like this on the wheel still torqued and Stan fortunately has this wonderful little tool That you slide over the nut and you can lock it against the wheel like that and then you take your gun and You turn the square plug to get it out. That was a lifesaver. I would never have gotten that apart without that tool. So Another thumbs up to the bus boys so we are at the end of Thursday, and uh, we got quite a bit done today. Not as much as I hoped, but we did get quite a bit done. Um, this side, the brakes all back together. The uh, uh, springs for the shoes, one of them was missing, so I had to replace one. Uh, we put new brake diaphragms in, the new airlines on. I threw one tire just on it for now, just so that it's uh, safe to sit on. Uh, I'm not comfortable climbing under the bus with all the wheels off it. So I put that wheel back on for now. We've got, uh, oh, it's getting a little dark back here. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got all the uh, the new coolant hoses and oil hoses on the engine today. That's all complete. We've got fresh oil in it, ready to fire up for tomorrow. Fresh oil filter. And uh, we still gotta pull this back corner apart. We haven't got to it yet. That's tomorrow morning's project. We're gonna do that. And, uh, there's the old hub laying on the floor that we're not going to use anymore, but I'm going to take that with me. I'll throw it in the, the bus and take it home with me. Um, this front corner is all back together, so the diaphragm's changed, new airline, repack the bearings. Uh, I just have to set the brakes tomorrow. I haven't done that yet, but that side's ready for a wheel. And uh, what else did I do today? Oh, we changed the, the drains in the air tanks because uh, they weren't looking so hot, and one of them was completely plugged. And... Uh, Phil did a lot of wiring today, he got a lot of wiring done. The uh, the one last thing we have to do on this hub over here on this corner is tomorrow I have to remove the old wiper that's in there. 
um, it's not the right diameter to seal on this seal. So we have the new wiper. It's actually right here. And uh, it is the correct di diameter. Actually, it goes this way. It is the correct diameter for the spindle. We just got to pull the old one off and press this one on. And uh, we should be off to the races, so to speak. Um, oh, that was another challenge today. I, I had to separate the drum from the old hub. There's uh, five large set screws that hold it in place. And uh, that took a lot of heat and a lot of patience to get to get that separated. But I think we're in good shape for tomorrow. Um, if the tires show up tomorrow, which we're really hoping, then we can get the wheels back on it and uh, run it around the yard some and see where we're at from there. So we'll check in tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Friday, September the 18th. We are back at it at the bus boys here. And uh, hopefully today is the last day of heavy lifting. And then it's just a little stuff Saturday and get her out of here. The big problem today is going to be if we can get our tires in time to get out of here before Monday. Uh, tire shop <clears throat> told us it's going to be Monday. Uh, they should have been done a couple weeks ago, but there were some problems. Um, uh, it's to do with the rims. We're getting some rims refinished. So the powder coater had the machine go down. So if there's hopefully a chance we can get them today, then that would work out great. And uh, so it's, on today's agenda, we've got to change the wiper on that hub pack the bearings, get them uh, back together, get that wheel together. Uh, the right rear is all finished up here. We've got to do the left rear. We haven't got the left rear up. The airline for the heavy duty gun wouldn't reach the far side, so we're gonna have to do something about that today. And uh, engine wise, the engine stuff's all done, I think. So we're, uh, we're in good shape here. Sage changed the oil for me yesterday. Uh, gotta put <clears throat> the two windows in today. That's on the list for today. And uh, start cleaning up some of the mess we've made here. Get going. It'd be great to get out of here. Get this bus rolling home. So here we are pressing in the new studs into the hub. It looks like they've done this here before because they had all the right shims and spacers set up waiting so all I had to do was get it ready and press it down in morning. morning as easy as that so we're taking off the last drum and uh, the bus garage here, they've got this handy dandy little cart, which is amazing for removing drums because they're so freaking heavy. You just jack it up till it just touches, and then you can walk the drum off on the cart, and you don't even have to lift it. It works absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna buy one of these for at home, and if you're doing a lot of bus work, I recommend finding one. It's, uh, it's great. So we did have a little bit of trouble <laughs> getting these set screws out. As you can see by their condition, the previous person obviously mangled them a bit, putting them back in or taking them out at some point. So we ended up using a hammer and a chisel to break them free, which I guess is typical. But uh, last corner, here we go. Okay, so we've got the last brake drum off here. Got our part to look at. Found a couple of things. Um, as you can see by the dampness on the outer lip of that hub, it's got a slight... Uh, oil seal leak. Um, let's see if I can get the light moved around. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it looks like it's just starting to weep. It's not getting into the brakes or anything yet, so um, that's a whole another can of worms I'm not sure if I want to get into right now. So uh, I think what the plan is is we're going to put it back together and drive it and just monitor it. If it just weeps a little bit, then I'm not going to worry about it until I get home. Um, just like the other side, we, we did find a broken brake spring. You can see it laying in there, so we're going to have to get dig out one of those and it looks like somebody's well lubed this bus because look at all that extra grease that's just been oozing out of the uh, out, out of the uh, S-cams there so I, I guess over greasing might be better than no grease at all but I think that's a little bit excessive we're gonna wipe that extra grease out and uh, clean things up so we'll get this back together and then uh, move on so this concludes day four and day five 
We're still looking for a name for our bus. We haven't chosen or decided one yet. If you have any suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave us a comment and uh, we'll take them into consideration. Um, stay tuned for an update video with Phil. Um, Phil does a little bit of uh, detail with me about what we did to convert the hub over to an MCI hub. Uh, I know lots of Silverside owners are looking to hear about that because they may need to do that for their bus. Uh, if you want to support us, please like and subscribe and uh, continue watching. Thank you very much. From the back of the